Hey guys, it's Neil Trivedi in the house. Guys, guys, I'm just joking. It's actually Hokia. Nice to meet you guys. Um, so, <laughs> I'm <Hokia. here. laughs> so I'm here with Neil, and I'm going to be testing to see if he can actually walk the walk and to see if he's actually good at maths. So I'm going to be giving him an American SAT paper. It's going to make it as difficult as possible, <laughs> bruv. I've got a random number generator. Let's generate a random ear. Hey, 2019. Okay, so I'm gonna be downloading this paper. Bro has Yo, no bro. idea what he's up for. <laughs> okay. No English. I'm not doing the English. No, no, you're getting the English section too, bro. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna be downloading this. I'll print this out. Wait, have you done it? Yeah, it's printing now. Now, now I'm gonna be going to our office and I'm gonna get the paper printed. Brother, ooh. Brother, ugh. Oh, I see the math section. Yeah, let's go. Are these answers? You ain't got the answers, man! Ah, those are the answers. I might just leave this bit here. Boom, got it here. Let's go. This is Sparta! Bwah! This is Sparta! Okay. <laughs> you can have a look at the paper. This section, right? 25 they minutes. They give you the formulas. 20 questions. Next one is 55 minutes, 38 questions. You have an hour for both. Easy, mate. Yeah? Are you ready? I guess okay. so. Three, two, one. Four sections, yeah? All right, what is the solution? Okay, that's uh, obviously C, mate. Which of the following is equivalent to this expression? Uh, me. Which of the following systems equation could be used to determine the number of uh, adult riders A and the number of child riders C? Okay, so we have 617, that's child plus adult is 617. Since surely it's D then. Two for an adult, one for a child, yeah. I think I'm overthinking this. Which of the following statements is not true? Well, that's not true. The angles remain the same in enlargements. In the x-ray, the y-coordinate of the y-intercept of the graph of the function f is c, which of the following must be equal to c? Just f of naught, right? Alrighty then. The length of a rectangular tile is four times the width. If the area is 144, what is the width? x is six. Which of the following is the graph of y minus 5x minus six? So it's b. A, b, c. Table shown gives some values of x. What is the y coordinate of the y intercept of the graph? Uh, all right, so minus one, minus two, two, four. So when x is zero, move that over, minus four. Oh, just zero. I guess you could have seen that, but anyway. Which of the following statements is consistent with the equation? Oh, then that's the answer. I'm not even gonna bother reading it. The rest is just a. What is the radian measure of Q, O, R. Oh, okay. So if these are both, so you double pi over six is pi over three. Pi minus pi over three is two pi over three. So C. What value of X satisfies the equation above? X squared minus nine, you'll get four X squared minus two X times X minus three is X plus three. So you have four X squared minus two X squared. Factorize quick things. 2x, x. This is using my oi oi method, Mike. So plus, minus. Uh, yeah, that works. So x is a half. I mean, x is minus 3 as well, but they don't talk about that one. A right circular cone has volume third pi cubic feet. Bruh. Okay, so just volume is pi r squared h, right? They said that the volume is a third pi uh, freedom units. Pi. What do they want? The radius. Okay, r squared. The height was 9. Cancel a pi, divide by 9. You get 1 over 27 is r squared. So you're going to root that 27. Uh, so you get uh, 9 times 3. Bruh. So you get 1 over 3. 3 over 9. Oh wait, but they don't do it like that. What? A right circular cone has volume 1 third pi cubic feet and height of 9. And 27. Is nine times three. Oh, yeah. Root of nine is three. I'm bugging. Then they want me to rationalize the denominator. 
when I times top and bottom by root three, I get root three on the top and nine on the bottom. But I don't get that. That's what a right circular cone is. Unless there's some kind of language barrier here. Uh, let's come back to that. Which of the following is equivalent to r to the power of two fifths? Huh? Oh, dot. Hey, yo, this notation's so different, man. Okay, so they're saying times r to the power of a half. So you're gonna add them, right? So four plus five, nine tenths. Okay, this thing's annoying me, man. Which of the following could define s? 55, so it's to do with the maximum point, right? So it can't be 55. The maximum point here goes up to 50, so it's gonna have to be b. For question 16, so you solve the problem and enter your answer in the grid described. Huh? Although not required, it is suggested that you write your answer in the box at the top of the columns. I might just have to write my answer. So you got that. Okay, I'm just gonna write down my answer. On a 210 mile trip, Cameron drove at an average speed of 60 miles per hour for the first X hours. He then completed the trip, driving at an average speed of 50 miles per hour for the remaining Y hours. If X is one, what's the value of Y? So we have Cameron drove at an average speed of 60 miles per hour for the first X hours. And this was Y hours. This is 60 miles per hour. Uh, and the second part was 50 miles per hour. So for one hour, you're traveling at 60 miles per hour. So in that first hour, you traveled 60 miles, which means for the second portion, you're doing 150 miles. That's three hours, right? Yeah, three hours. In the equation above, what is the value of Z when W is two? So Z is 16 over six, which is eight over three. I mean, yeah, there's, there's nothing else it could be, right? Okay, eight over three. What value of X satisfies the equation? But this is a quadratic, right? So we'll let u equal root x. You would have u squared minus 2u minus 3 is 0. So easy factorizing. 3 and 1 minus plus is 0. Uh, so u is minus 1, u is 3. Now, root of x can't equal minus 1, but root of x can be 3, so x is noise. Noise. What's the solution to this? Ah, easy, mate. So we're going to add them. So we get 2x is 5. So x is 2.5. Wait, is that all they wanted? 5 over 2 or 2.5? Let's just do both answers because I'm a good boy. So in the question above, k is constant. If the equation has infinitely many solutions, what is the value of k? I mean, infinite solutions means that both sides are just the exact same, so k is a half. Okay, check your work. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, here they talk about right circular cones. Oh, <laughs> I'm being a donut. Hey, yo, I swear at the beginning I was cussing out the formula sheet. I'm so dumb. Root of one ninth uh, gives me a third. So the answer is a third. Yeah. All right, cool. Round two. All right, this is the calculator bit. So the graph above shows the Chen or Shen family's water usage over 40 weeks. What do they want? It looks like this. The distance between two locations on the map is six centimeters. Why, why aren't they doing feet, man? If one centimeter on the map corresponds to 50 miles. What is the actual distance in miles between the two locations? So six, you're just doubling it and tripling it, 90. A store received a shipment of a thousand MP3 players, four of which were defective. If an MP3 player is selected, what is the probability that it's defective? So just four out of a thousand, four out of a thousand, 0.004. Function F is defined above. What is the value of F of 20? Let me do this without a calculator. So you have 20 plus... What's that? It's 750. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to this? Minus 4. What number is 20% greater than 60? So you divide it by 5, which is 12, so 72. The graph of y equals 3x minus 5 in the xy plane is a line. Ayo! This is so easy, man. I swear I see so many of these TikTokers like, yo, this is the hardest SAT thing I've ever seen in my life. This makes me realize that all of that SAT stuff is just clickbait. How many solutions does it have? Two. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the number two? So it's not that, it's not that. It looks like B, but it's not looking good. Uh, nah, I'm just joking. Though. That two indicates the average number of feet that the tree grew per year. Based on this information, which of the following statements must be true? Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh. But if there's like a million of them, you can't say 200 is representative, right? In the xy plane, the graph of y equals x plus 3 intersects, so you just equate them. So x is 9. Hey, yo, they love 9 over in the USA. Which of the following could be an equation for the line of best fit? I already know it's going to be A. It's quite steep, right? I mean, you could look at two points, for example. Um, but yeah. 
this B, it just definitely is not gonna be that. 0.8 would be quite flat. What is the solution to the equation above? I guess I'm just gonna have to expand it and bring that over here. 48, right? So X is quattro. 10 fish weighing less than five ounces are placed in tank A. So we have 11 fish where their range is between at least five, but less than 13. I feel like this is a trick question. So it's gonna be eight. It's the only one that's in that range. In triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 50 degrees. So you just do a quick thing, A, B, C. Angle A is 50 degrees. If triangle ABC is isosceles, oh, easy. So anything but 65, so three answers. In the XY plane, a circle with radius five has this center, which of the following is an equation so it can't be C or D, because it's uh, it's uh, R squared. And it has to be X plus eight. So, cool. According to the 2010 census, the adult population aged 18 or greater in the USA was, bruh, I ain't even reading that. The answer is C. Oh man, this is... Which of the following is the closest to the difference between the percentage, okay, versus these guys? 508, 409, 5, 10, 14 over 918. I'm gonna go with C, I think it's about 10%. I think the logic is sound there. Which of the following speeds is equivalent to 90 kilometers per hour? I just did a reel like this. So 25 meters per second. Keeping in mind, I don't have, a, not using my calculus, which best estimates the amount by which the line underestimates the value of Y when X is 50, which is about 18. A certain elephant weighs 200 pounds at birth and gains more than two but less than three pounds per day. Haha, <laughs> it's so annoying. 730, okay, that's the only option, part C. If this is true, what is the value of M plus two? Oh, okay, so here, what a lot of students would end up doing is expanding the brickets. So 2.5. Make Make completes one orbit around the sun every 310 years. Which of the following functions are models the number of orbits of Make Make in T years? T over 310. If X, Y is a, is the solution to the system of equations above, what is the value of 3x plus 3y? Without a okay, that one's quite difficult. Like Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I need a calculator, man. Oh, that's so annoying. Which of the following measures does not have the same value? Uh, what's 17 times 3? 30, 21, 51, minus 2, 49 over 3. Result of two random samples of votes for a proposition are shown above. The samples were selected from the same population. How much do I have? Just yeah, 10 minutes left. Mate, there's a lot of probability here. I wasn't expecting this. Gee, I'm gonna save that for later. What is the combined area of the shaded regions? Four root three of the following functions, which best models the temperature? Yeah, it's gonna be D, because it has to 10 to 70, which is room temperature. Which of the following must be true? A is nine, but I think it's just B only. I'm kind of pressured for time now, but based on the model, what is the maximum daily profit in dollars? Uh, 60, right? What is the flow rate in cubic meters per second of water falling from the same height? No, I can't do that without a calculator. 1029,000 divided by 686, which I just can't do without a calculator. In the XY plane above, line K passes through the point 0230. What is the value of B? A, I really love this stuff. He is just two, right? Trevor works as a sales associate in a retail store. He is normally paid 20% of the total retail value of the merchandise he sells. When he earns a bonus, he is paid an additional 15% of his normal pay. During one pay period, Trevor sold $3,500 in merchandise and earned a bonus. How much was he paid in dollars? 725? I don't know. 100 shirts is $800. What is the total cost in dollars to produce 1,000 shirts? M is three. A uh, thousand shirts would be three times a thousand plus 500, so 3,500. What is the total distance traveled in meters after 30 seconds? So D is a half T squared. So after 30 seconds, 900 over two, 450. Without calculus, this is tough. Okay, how much time do I have? Less than two minutes. Which ones were the questions? One minute 30. Which ones were my question marks? Am I bugging? The results of two random samples of samples of uh, the margins of error were calculated using the same error. Which of the following is the most probably reason? Sample A had a smaller number of votes. Like, uh, sample A had a higher percentage. Uh, 
Small sample size usually larger error. Five. <laughs> All right, so looking through C, C, A, D, B, A, A, 8 is B, C, A, 11 is C, 12 is C, 13, oh, this is the one I bugged out on, is A, 14 is D, 15 is B, 3 hours, 8 thirds, 9, 2.5 and a half. Cool. So section 1, non-calc, 100%. Let's this, go. Oh, this one. Bane of my life, mate. This was not pretty. So C, C, A, question 4, C, question 5, B, question 6, B, 7, C, 8, C, question 9, E, question 10, A, 11 is C, 12, A, 13, B, 14, B, 15, D, 16, B. Ah, this was the ones where it starts to get horrible. 17. C. Let's go. I don't need a calculator, Mike. 18. No. I I wasn't hopeful there anyway. No, I was actually. 19. A. 20. B. 21. What? I put C. No, I didn't add 200. 23. This was a trick question, but I got it. This one's annoying, 24B. Nah. Without a calculator, there was no way. Unless there's a trick here that I wasn't aware of, maybe. I have to look back at that one. 25D, yes! Okay. Ayo, hey, thinking on the spot on that. 26C, question Ooh, 27D, question 28. I put B, what? No, there's two of them, I didn't double it. That's dumb. 29 is D. Question 30 is D. What? So 49. Oh, 56. Without a calculator. Ah, uh, 87.5%. I don't even know how good that is. But overall, I would say like, you know, bar like a couple of questions where I rushed it, it's pretty decent. So I'm not sure what the level is here or what age people take these exams, but Overall, pretty satisfied of my performance. It is uh, 7 p.m. on a Friday night, but yeah. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this um, segment. I'm, every single Sunday, I'm just gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe and like the video. And if you have, if you have any more suggestions, <laughs> let me know. And yeah, if you have any opinions on any of the questions, let me know as well. I'd love to hear from you guys. Nice. Yo, guys. I literally just clocked that hockey have violated me. Yo, how much time was I supposed to actually have? Total of 80 minutes. 80 minutes? And bro gave me one hour. Nah, that's, I mean, to be fair, with an extra 20 minutes would have made much of a difference. Probably those two questions, I wouldn't have made a silly mistake if I had been able to look back at it. But yeah, checking out guys. Nice one, Mike. <laughs>